We we're living in some strange times, man. Some strange, strange times. Your painting morphing into your head. Exactly. Yeah, man. So what do you guys want to talk about? The rise and fall of humanity. What's that? Um, The rise and fall of humanity. Oh, I thought you said human centipede. (laughs) (laughs) Next video idea. (laughs) The five of us. I call the front. Oh, shit. (laughs) I call the back, dudes. (laughs) Anyone here read Meet Me in the Bathroom? I thought that was a song. Man, it's so it's so fucked up. It's like it's so hard to find shit now on YouTube. I don't I can't find his damn speech, but whatever. I'm defeated. Technology and YouTube has defeated me. Such an interesting career too. He was so big, he was so huge and um Oh fuck. Well, caught it. <laughs> Strokes come out with completely tone deaf Zoom chat. Just be the strokes come out. No, it's uh, a <laughs> all their fans. It'll it'll be a great. It'll be like uh, the Strokes come out with uh, no. The Strokes are tone deaf and not just with their music. <laughs> be an easy uh, bad too. review. That's what uh, Jan Wenner, the Rolling Stone guy, told me. What did he say? Told me I was tone deaf. Don't feel bad, man. He slapped my face. He literally slapped me in the face. <laughs> Don't feel bad. What? what? <laughs> yeah, what remember the I fuck. We had that we had that meeting and I was I was like hung over and I got there late and we you guys were all in his office and I got there just in the last three minutes and then everybody got up and I was like oh man I'm so sorry and he was like pop and he hit me across my face I don't remember that at all I don't yeah. remember that either I think he was trying to do like a ta 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 like ah, it's okay kid but it was like just like. Ever so he didn't want to like knee jerk uh, like don't touch me dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah kind of uh, i had a hole in my eardrum and i was like oh yeah i have a hole in my eardrum or i don't know if i still do but whatever i had yeah i was telling him that and he's like oh so you're tone deaf and i was like <laughs> say what no, now man. get over here i want to put you on the cover of my magazine in a movie, it would be the same day. He would like say it to you and be like, now go take that photo. <laughs> <laughs> you tone deaf motherfucker. Para bailar la bamba. Para bailar la bamba. I think it's impossible to sync up. I wish we could play together this way, but. There's no way to sync it up. Practicing would be so easy. Hi! Oh, no shoes. So no uh, pants either. I'm at home. You just like kind of set it up on a desk or whatever? Yeah. Oh, no, actually, I set it up on a pillow, but now I set it up on my... Uh, oh, a pillow. My, yeah. I lean it against huh? a... Uh, like a heavy thing, like a bottle full of liquid. Or yeah. some kind of like a, a heavy mystical crystal. <laughs> <laughs> a mystical crystal. Oh. I like that, Nikolai. Just like a casual. Just having it in there. It's actually oh, where my record that player is. Amazing. But... That's a serious thing. My <laughs> <laughs> this is my new look. Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing. Cleopatra Casablancas, you look beautiful. Thank you. Man, graham crackers. <laughs> Yo, aren't graham crackers the best? That's so I had good. that I had that revelation recently also where I hadn't had a graham cracker in forever and then had one. And then ate the whole fucking box because it was like the best thing I'd ever had in my life. Just plain ass graham crackers. My drums sound great. Yeah, can you hear that bass? Man, yeah, cut dude, through so nice. Amazing. <laughs> it sounds like um, uh, sugar packets falling on on a. On a white you got You got to have some ads. You got it. Yes, we're sponsored by Cadillac and Boogers. 
<laughs> Judgment Day. <laughs> That's the chorus. Oh, fuck. Oh, that one fell on my shins. <laughs> that one was, it was like, uh, oh, well, go on. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to, I, I sound like such a dumbass. Go, play the song. No, you don't, Albert. Say what you were going to say. When we were finishing up the album, you were talking about changing it. Oh, shit. Whoops. That's really great. I got, yeah. I got, a, I got the opposite vibe. I went outside and, and these three people like passed me really quickly on the street with a bike. And I was like, ring the bell next time. And they turned around and they were like, we got a problem? Do we have a problem? And I was like, no, I, you know what? I don't have a problem. And then they went to the end of this pier here like uh, in Williamsburg. And I was like, you know what? I do have a problem. So I walked up to them and I was like, man, did it have to be so contentious? Why did it, how did it get from zero to 60? And the truth is, um, and there was a guy fishing behind there, which is the strangest thing to do on the East River. Um, and he was like, why don't you get out of here? And I was like, you too, man. You don't even know what we're talking about. And you're all angry at me. What the hell? But it turned out, it turned out pretty good because the guys that originally yelled at me, I was able to talk them down. And I was like, man, you know, we're all going through this difficult time. And, and they were like, yeah, we understand. All right, I'm sorry. And, I, and, and it was all And they were nice. like, high five. <laughs> and then, no, and then, and then, and then they went away, and I was like, "How about you?" And he was like, "Yeah, man, fuck you." <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll leave this one alone. Well, uh, I've been having this approach lately where I just have a very kind of calm conversation when people are mad. It's like, Get the fuck out! It's like I don't understand. Like I was just trying to merge. I put my turn. Fuck you, man! It's like, why are you so mad? Uh, yeah, I'll. I'll I'll search for it, maybe episode three. You promised, Albert. You promised. You promised. <laughs> Promiser. Liar. How dare you. Liar. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> We should do an episode of this Zoom thing where we're all just mad close. <laughs> Zoomed in. I guess. <laughs> the entire this is what Zoom's about. Like okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find it, okay? Find it. Why is this so funny? Well, in case we find it. I wish you had a fish eye lens in here. Just... Yo, Fab, when you're, when you're quarantined by yourself every day, do you shower it? No. You skip well, that shit, right? No, no, but I just, I know from me, I'm quarantined with my wife and kids, and I, I, I can't really shower. I mean, that's just, seems like normal things have just gone out the window at this point. Yeah. Bye, yeah, bye. I shit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, Jules. Jules is waving. Jules is signing bye, off, saying bye. good night. I lose. I lose my mind when the sun goes down. Bye. Bye. Okay, good night, Jules. It's gonna turn to a, yeah, a, a, a gremlin now or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we come to you with the knowledge of the ancients. Unfortunately. We also have amnesia of the ancients. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, welcome, Stroke Shard. Um, we sharded today, guys. We sharded at number at number one. <laughs> <laughs> the top of the shards. Top of the shards. And number two. I'm sorry, it was right there. Um, number three in England, <laughs> and our streak, pun intended, of inappropriate conversation <laughs> continues. Anywho. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Playing guitar. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, yeah, fuck you, bro. <laughs> cool. And the first one would be Total Eclipse of the Heart. Little, literal version. That was my dad's favorite song. Literal version? 
there you have it. Wow, that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, Although it makes me wonder, what the fuck is that video about anyway? <laughs> Nikolai, you're doing this. Are you are you sharing this with us on purpose? <laughs> Just stop Nikolai, sharing. control the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Felix likes his weird out, you know? I'm just gonna my Phoenix is like, yeah, it's Ed. I like my like, weird out. <laughs> blaming it on, on Phoenix, but <laughs> Phoenix was it, it, why did it take over your computer? <laughs> Way to throw him under the bus, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Way to throw him under the bus. <laughs> okay, it wasn't Phoenix, it was my uh, it was my tabs. So yeah, it, it continued playing. Let's play that. <laughs> It's called um that freaky deeks right there. Wow, that's that cool. That looks like they're on the they're on the chat with us. <laughs> oh wow, we should together like that would be funny to do that. Play the demo! We're playing that dope demo you guys did in the uh, yeah, we need to do a strokes photo like that where all our heads are on one thing. Flux. You didn't send that. That's much cooler. You just sent us. I, I think I vaguely is this when we were covering the, the New Year's thing, and then we would. At rehearsal, we would sometimes, as a joke, break out into reggae. Yeah. You guys want to see an animal video? What I found really uh, interesting about that book also is they don't, they can't conceive that like whales exist in the water. Like they don't know that other animals exist in different parts of of the world. I think that's, you know, I thought that was funny. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I feel like I kill it every time. Like my last, my last sentence is like the end of the segment. <laughs> oh man, you make us think, man. You make us think. <laughs> you drop the mic every time. I'm sorry to cut this shit short, but now my family's texting me and they're like, "Yo, what's up with this spaghetti?" Uh, spaghetti want, ending. Spaghetti I think spaghetti ending is pretty good. Spaghetti Thank you for joining. Join spaghetti. us again one day. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Um, yeah, I thought, um, I, I didn't know really what to think of you guys. And all I could really do is I was watching Fab the whole night because in those days, he snapped his back every time he hit the snare and I was, was sure he was going to hurt himself. I was just like watching an accident ready to happen. And that's, that's kind of what I remember the most. Which is why I have a hunchback now. <laughs> What did, did you really do that? Did you, I mean, in my memory, you're just like, every time you use two hands on the snare and your back would just go creasing in half every hit. And I was like, Jesus, what's yeah. going to happen to that guy? Well, because when we would rehearse, these guys would be like, hit harder. And I was like, I don't have any more muscles. I've got to use my whole body. Yes. Okay. Sorry, Fab. No, it's good. It's just scoliosis for life. <laughs> I have lots of important questions. Like Nikolai, I was wondering, do you, I used to see you play basketball sometimes in the West Village. Do you still play basketball? Oh yeah, on Horatio with my brother. I remember that. Uh, I no, watch you all the time. For, uh, hey Colin, I, I, I have a question for you. Yeah, please. Um, do you remember on Christmas Eve day, you were walking with your kids and one of your kids sang, we all live in a in a rainbow submarine and there was a guy that was like hey man that's even better than the original do you remember yeah. that 
How do that, you remember that? That was me. And I said to my mom, I was like, that's Colin. That's my friend. And she was like, doesn't seem like he remembers you. <laughs> that was you? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was bundled up. <laughs> that reminds me of I ran into Johnny T in the street one day, and I've only ever hung out with him in like bars at four in the morning. And he was with his family, and I was like, hey, Johnny. And he's just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this man. <laughs> We got off stage and then I, I would have to get back on stage and scoop up the pedals and like. Oh, I remember that. I had to do that and do like the hi-hats and. Grab an amp. So, you know, I, the, as the singer, the singer always had the luxury of not having to do that, but it was always a little, you'd sheepishly get back on stage and like collect your stuff. So I. I helped with gear. How dare you? <laughs> I, I remember carrying Fab's stuff a lot. Do you have do you have like a song or two that are always those last that last debate about is this going to be on the set list? Yeah, I mean we we debate like on one stage. way trigger. Yeah, one way trigger. Yes, me and Albert want to play it, and Fab and Nick <laughs> always take it off. That is so not true. <laughs> song. That is so not true, Jules. <laughs> oh we my can edit god. It out. No, I'm not. That's staying in. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> this is as bad as when, when I, we were live on and, and I couldn't start uh, Razorblade. And so I the answer from a... is yes, we disagree. <laughs> <laughs> this episode's going to be sponsored by drugs. <laughs> dare, dare to do drugs. And you had a show in Boston and we all went to the show and then we bought, I don't know if you remember, I'm sure you remember, but we bought these weird go-karts. Oh yeah. Whatever. Albert and I were on it. Yeah. 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 I'm sure there's photos of, of you guys yeah. riding. We, we, uh, we, we were racing the hives. Well, a fake version of the hives. <laughs> <laughs> and we, and we got stuck. We were supposed to win. You guys had it rigged no, we, that we would we, win <laughs> and we got stuck. And then the hives were waited to cross the finish line. Your fake hives <laughs> waited to cross the finish line so that we came in first. <laughs> I remember because we didn't ha we didn't have that much money, so we bought go karts that we had to assemble ourselves, <laughs> which is a really a really bad sign for go karts. And we were up all night building these go karts, and then yours broke down. Um, and then I remember I got you know I, I became I got elected president of Lampoon, and it was like a organizing that event was like a big part to show like I was somehow that proved to people I was responsible <laughs> <laughs> that band upstairs what were they called John, John Cage is a fake yeah yeah oh. and they had that, that crazy uh, Tony shit going on and, and uh and then I went up there one day and it was a woman playing drums she was killing it they were so aggressive as a band though it was pretty it was pretty insane to hear, like you'd have like, a quiet moment and then they would just all come on like yelling. I always remember singing Razorblade was so hard. It was just, I almost <laughs> wanted to take the song off the record. Cause it's like, and then like in between takes, it'd be like, <laughs> and it was just so hard. What, this, is a, this is a cheesy question, but what were some of your first impressions of each band member? Each band member. Who's your favorite? Is what we're trying to we're getting at. Rank them. Rank them. <laughs> yeah, that's that was strange that that was gone. The only other place it could be would be over with uh, where Andy Wallace was. Our arch nemesis, Andy Wallace. Yeah. <laughs> But the files. I'm just the, kidding. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. He's a master. <laughs> no, no, he's he the is. mixer. Mixer. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Mixer. Oh, right. He's a mixing legend. I just I imagined a guy with a mustache, handlebar mustache, burning our our tapes. Andy Wallace. <laughs> All cartoonish. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, somebody's coming. <laughs> what is that? A truck is coming in. It's Andy Wallace again. <laughs> <laughs> Motorcycle driving by, oh. driving driving through my house. Fuck! It's, he's got he's got first impressions under his arm. I even found a guy up in um, Harvard that records with plants. 
and he has a plant sitting in a room, you play the drums. He has a 2,500 frame per second camera on the fern. No way. You're done playing. They analyze the vibration of the leaves. They have an algorithm that converts it to frequency. It plays back, and it's your fucking drums. No. Yes. I hope they don't come and record my plants. God knows what it would hear. <laughs> or Louis C.K.'s. What? <laughs> oh, man. It was Harvey Weinstein who used to come in the plant, not Louis C.K. <laughs> Louis had a plant involved, too. I think there's a whole thing. There's a florist thing. Oh, is that what it is? I have no. I was. I didn't know what you were talking about. I, it kind of just went over my head. I was like, oh, Einstein, though, that he would come in the plant was just so fucking weird. Oh, that is weird. He, was he? What was his rationale? Was it like he wouldn't have to clean up? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I think it was like a little shop of horrors thing, and that's what. No. What, <laughs> what makes you? What makes you think you wouldn't have to clean up? Like, you, what kind of plant do you have that you could you just jizz in it and it'd be okay? One that you don't care about. <laughs> no, but I. <laughs> in this cum trap? What? <laughs> yeah, cum trap. <laughs> We've gone there. Okay, we got a couple of titles. We got unhappy lack of a secret and Venus cum trap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for the inspiration. Nikolai couldn't take it. He just, uh, he jumped, he jumped ship. Instead of calling it the Strokes, I saved it under the Storks because... Yeah, that old, that, that old classic trick. <laughs> <laughs> also comes full circle to, do you remember our Arlene Grocery Show in New York? And they had mistakenly wrote, written our name as the Storks. That happened a couple of times throughout our, throughout our shit. Um, that's, that has happened. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, ha I have it here. I think was one like, on a big marquee, you know, where it's like there's going to be 1,200 people here, and it said the storks outside. Uh, tiny place, London. The night oh yeah, but that doesn't oh, count. Yeah, that tiny sweaty club. That was Ding your walls. first live show with us. It started raining inside. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that doesn't. Man. Ding walls. Ding walls. Yeah. Ding walls. Yeah. Ding balls. Ding, Ding balls. Ding balls. <laughs> Bing ball. You never do that, Gus. Gus <laughs> yeah. never yeah, does I that. always <laughs> stay within the DB lane. <laughs> those yeah. all the rules. Yeah. Gus, what are you doing, Pat? Are you eating? Or, or cooking? He's doing a cooking show. He's getting his stew ready, yeah. He mentioned that earlier. He's hungry. <laughs> like that Bob. word. Fob. Fob. <laughs> he can't. Fob. He can't hear you, man. <laughs> uh, Gus, who's your favorite band member? Fob, just because of his name. <laughs> just because of that guy in Brooklyn that kept calling him Fob. <laughs> oh, yeah, remember that guy? I just came back in on Fob. <laughs> and, and the funny thing is that everybody but you and me thinks you don't know my name. I remember, I remember when you guys had the conversation with me, Albert and Julian, when you guys were like, hey, so... Uh, how should we credit you on the record? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you guys were like, should we just call you Fab? And I was like, oh, and you're like, yeah, we'll call, just call you Fab. <laughs> Wait, you guys had a fucking machine that played tennis table with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or table tennis? No, no, tennis table. Tennis table. <laughs> So. Maybe you could put in some of my poetry instead of that. Just oh, like... I have plenty of your poetry on my hard drives. <laughs> that I'd like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> give hard, us, give us a taste, drive. Jules. Give, <laughs> give us a taste, Jules. Give us a taste. I mean, he's talking about all the fucking. No, guys. I'm talking about you right now, like what you were gonna, what you were about to go into. Oh, doves, like raindrop. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And I thought the album, the like when I heard the album, I thought it sounded. I thought it was like a greatest hits album of a band I never heard of. Wow, so, very intriguing. Cool. That's cool. A huge, wow, that's the nicest thing you've ever said, <laughs> right? Dude, we're we're all your abused children, and now we, and you just gave us a compliment. We're like, <laughs> I know. no, no, but now I it makes. He was gonna be like, I thought it was the worst piece of shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I'll let you guys go. You got to understand, you all have other people to go to. After this is done, I turn off the lights and just sit there. I'm oh, just, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I feel I like I'm going to wander out into the streets one day and be like, how long have... 
<laughs> I'm gonna just start like touching past, people. <laughs> it's like this I mean, guy's just touching pads, everybody. Well, but Fab, yeah, you had you beard. shaved today. Last time I saw you, you had a big, huge beard, and so I did. you're going through the motions at least. I did, and what I discovered was an old face. Oh no! Look you're at so you, fresh man. And so clean, you're, man. What are you talking about? you're as or a face that has lived. You're you're as cherubic as the day I met you. <laughs> well, there's always the glory of suicide. Lee, <laughs> <laughs> and I was impressed. I remember on the first day of tracking, when it started really sounding good, looking at Jason, who was our engineer, saying wow, they really sound good. And he's like, of course, the strokes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. can't remember if I've asked you this before, but um, I'm always fascinated with it. Um, if, what do you think, if it was ancient times, what do you think you would do or be? Like 5,000 BC times? Hard to say. Hard to say. <laughs> How about you? Do you have any, any take? I'm gonna go with probably farmer. I could see court jester. It's very clear to me that I'd be doing the same thing pretty much that I do today, which is going around and uh, playing music for people. <laughs> what, was the, what was the instrument of choice then? Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had something, maybe like a little, uh, you know, a little three note flute. I don't know, something. You think they yeah, had a flute? I'd be your hype guy. I'd be like, have you heard this guy's flute? I'd be like, yo, this guy rocks with his rocks. I, don't, I, don't, just, I could be telling my comedy tales. We'd still all be a band. We yeah, just wouldn't just do be so funny songs. We'd be touring together from village to village. Yeah. You have the jester, the farmer. Nikolai the would be throwing things band. away. He's like, I don't need you this anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, because you said playing rocks, whatever. So we'd still be a rock band, is that what you said? Rick, do you have giant white couches everywhere you go? <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> we did a show in Honolulu once, a long time ago, where, much to our surprise, a friend of yours, or an acquaintance of yours, showed up uh, right before we went on stage, Chad Smith, the drummer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and it was a, uh, a raucous show. There's <laughs> not enough security. And when we got on stage, people started just climbing on stage and kind of like dancing around and then jumping off stage. And it was clear that we needed security. And Chad Smith was at the side of the stage watching the show. And he ended up um, handling young kids and just kind of kissing them on stage. That, that made it oh, sound weird. Pick them up by the, back of their, by the back of their pants and throw them back into the audience. He ended up, by the end of the show, he was just on stage with us. He brought a cooler out cooler full of beer um and he was like in the band slash security for us that it was day. kind of awesome though because people kept running off once they saw that he would throw them into the crowd and they'd crowd surf it he just became the, the guy who like was like a ride it was like part of the event yeah <laughs> yeah he I is feel so funny i i always remember one particular he like a guy was standing on stage and he went from behind him put his arm under his crotch yes flipped him forward somersaulting him into the audience yeah but it is important to say that people weren't like it wasn't like he was being mean to these people a lot of yeah. them like were were asking for it no they were loving it yeah, yeah. i have a crazy silly over the top poetic abstract question do you think that human consciousness is some kind of a strange random illusion or is it the perceptive sensor epicenter of the universe or known galaxy? Say it again. Do you think it's like humanism versus universalism? Do you think that consciousness is an illusion, basically, a strange random thing, or the perceptive center and sensor of the galaxy and universe? Or both. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Don't know. We have to we have to think about that and talk about it in more detail to get there. If you want to try to do that? Uh, okay, well, I'm a dumb, super dumb question. If you were an animal, what would you be? I'm sure you've been asked this, but sometimes I find that interesting. 
uh, never a really dragon. Thought, never thought about it. <laughs> uh, what if what if a genie said you have to be an animal and you had to choose real quick, gun to your head? What what would you go with? <laughs> The genie that's gonna murder you? Well, no, he yeah. wouldn't kill you. The homicidal the, genie. The oh, gun is the gun. is the tool the of how gun. to change to the animal. You know, it's just when you become uh, the animal. Well, in that scenario, Rick, then what would you do? <laughs> hard to say. Could it's uh, even then he won't answer. <laughs> hard, hard to answer hypothetical questions. <laughs> Part of the mystique, fellas. Um, <laughs> all right. 